When I provision teams for departments, I do like to add the things that helps make their lives easier and mine, which, uh, which kind of brings me to governance. Okay, so yes, we have the T-Bot under chat that helps us and gives us uh, answers to our questions and gives us training stuff. But do the users understand the governance around teams in your company? And are they going to navigate to some policies and procedures library to read a 40 page document? I think not. So something that I do is that um, I add a tab that goes to a specific page on a communication site that I've built. So this communication site, I build a um, Microsoft 365 communication site, or I just link it to my intranet. I build pages on my intranet. And in this Microsoft 365 site of mine, there's a page for each of the products in Microsoft that we use. So on this page, I build out all the stuff that my users could need and for uh, questions that they might have. So you'll see here is an example page. I use the banner as well to actually just bring in that people understand what this product is. Um, I can add important announcements here. So anything else that's happened in the meanwhile, you know, maybe that could affect the functionality of Teams. What's new? can add Power BI reports as well. Add the top features. These all link to Microsoft sites, by the way. Um, what do people do if they need help? I can add a stream channel here that um, takes them to internal stream videos. What is Microsoft Teams? So the technical description. How do we as a company use it? So I've just got example text in there now, but this could say that company X uses Teams in this and this way. Who's the product specialist? Who's the support team for Teams? I've even brought in um, the Twitter feed from Microsoft Teams. Yeah, you'll see is even more links that goes to Microsoft sites. So what's new, end user training, video training support, the blogs and discussions, FAQs, team user voice, Teams on Twitter. And then you'll start seeing it starts getting personal. So should I be using Microsoft Teams? So here's a couple of uh, examples of when people uh, could be using Teams. Then how do I request training? How do I get a team? And you can link this all to a little form or a process that opens up. I always explain business in your pocket. So how does the mobile side of Teams work? What is the business case for Teams in the company? And then at the bottom of the page, I start listing governance. So this page is actually my business and my IT governance page in the company. I don't use documents anymore. I mean, why would we? We've got beautiful communication sites that can build pages. So right at the top of this, what you should know, I add my company governance. And this is important for me. So I'll say we use Teams for departments, projects, and forums. There's no limit to members and channels, but we do suggest that you keep it focused. Team owners can add members and channels. Keep in mind that everyone in the team can see everything in the team. Uh, do not break inheritance on libraries or something. Whatever notes you want to put in here to guide the users around using Teams, put it on this page. And then as I scroll down, I refer to Microsoft content around retention policies, archiving, etc. And then at the bottom of the page, I add any links to administration around Teams, which is a more technical level. So I built one page out on a communication site for each product. And then on here, I will add links for them for training, material they might need, um, how do we use Teams, who's the product specialist, how does support work, how does training work, and then also, very importantly, what is the company governance around using Teams? The reason why I built this in a separate place. So if I take this link now, I'm going to just copy this page, okay? And if I go back to my team, I normally add this on the general tab, okay? So if I go and I add a new tab, this is not going to be SharePoint because it's going to a different site, not the current site. I'm going to add this as a website and I'm going to call this governance. And I'm going to paste that link there. The reason why I do this as a page that I link to is that at any time I can update this page and add things to it in my little Microsoft 365 portal. And I know that the tab that pulls through on my Microsoft team is updated. How's that bringing governance straight into the teams where your users are working? We really, really have to make it easier for them to stay up to date to find the things that they're looking for. So this way, by not using a document for governance, I actually link to a page on my Microsoft 365 portal, which could be part of your intranet. And this I add on every single team that gets created. It's part of my provisioning tool so that they always have a link to governance. And this page is always updated because whenever I make changes to this page, it's the same page that pulls through here. So how's that for making everyone's lives easier, including mine? I hope that that's going to help you a lot and I hope it's going to help your users as well. Chat soon.